Do you know what Sarpy County has to offer? It's time for another Sarpy County Spotlight. With people, we often say it's what's on the inside that counts. One business with heart is Embassy Suites La Vista. And Project Search is a great example of that. Aaron Riley and Susie Rakowski developed the program. Also here, David Scott. It's nice to see you again and nice to meet both of you. Thank you. So why in the world are you in Omaha right now? We, um, Project Search does an international conference. Mm -hmm. And we decided to bring our eighth international conference to Omaha, That's and it's great. been fabulous. That's great. It's underway right now That's and right. at your facility. That's we'll get correct. there in a second. What's the goal of the program? Project Search started at Cincinnati Children's 18 years ago, actually, and the whole goal is to train people with intellectual disabilities mm -hmm. so they can go on to get a job. What types of disabilities are we talking about here? Really all kinds. Mostly um, every young person that comes through is a somewhere between 18 and a young adult, mm -hmm. up to probably 30 years old, mm -hmm. and they have any uh, intellectual disabilities, autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, um, physical disabilities, hearing, visual impairments. Mm -hmm. So um, really anything that might impede their ability to process information and learn skills. So mm -hmm. our whole goal is for the young people to immerse themselves in a business like Embassy yeah, Suites yeah. for a whole year, yeah. learn skills, and go out and get a job. And this is one example of an industry. Are there others where your graduates are working? Sure. Um, we have lots of uh, project search programs in hospitals because we started at Cincinnati yeah. Children's. But even here in Nebraska, we have 16 programs, everything from Embassy Suites to Valmont Industries in yes. Omaha to PayPal, mm -hmm. um, hospitals. Um, the Walmart Distribution Center in North Platte is a great example of a project search program. So we're very happy to be here in Nebraska. And in terms of stats, if we look outside of project search uh, and then we look everywhere else, uh, the employment stats, what does the picture look like? Well, it's still fairly dismal for people with disabilities. Um, our whole goal is to lift people out of poverty so they mm -hmm. can get jobs. But nationally, um, employment for people with disabilities ranges mm -hmm. anywhere from maybe 10 to 30 percent. Mm -hmm. Right now we're averaging 69 percent in all of our project search programs and actually here in Nebraska we're doing a little bit better. We're That's up great. to 75 percent. That's great. What is the experience like for you at Embassy Suites La Vista? You know we had no idea what to expect to be honest with you. We mm -hmm. went with the program and the growing has been on both sides. Mm -hmm. the, the students obviously step up and we've employed quite a few already mm -hmm. and, and they're doing fabulous jobs and they, they teach us they teach us so much more to have more patience, to have more understanding mm -hmm. for each other as well as the students mm -hmm. themselves. And yeah. for, I know we have some, some pictures of them and some of the students who are at the conference uh -huh. will be watching this on television. Hey guys, we're glad you're in Omaha. <laughs> You'd consider this a success. Oh, very much so, yeah. very much so. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, I won't say it's a, it's a game changer, I will say that. It, mm. it makes a, a big difference in the engagement of the staff because they realize the hotel cares, mm. the organization cares. That's, That's what it's wonderful. all about. Mm. What makes the program overall successful? I think we are a collaboration between business and all of the agencies that typically are supposed to work with people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's about the people who work on the project and the people we mm -hmm. serve. Ultimately, who helps the students find meaningful employment? If you, you're not here all of the time, David is. So is it someone like David in our community who's doing that or how does it work? It's a team in each community. So mm -hmm. every project search site will be a collaboration between a school partner uh, VR, Voc Rehab, mm -hmm. Developmental Disability Agencies, and a business, and families, of course. Yeah. And what did the families say? I'm thinking about the parents and the grandparents who might have been concerned for years as that, that per the young man or woman was growing up and they didn't know how it would work out. Uh, what do you hear from them, the sort of feedback you get from the family? Well, we had a great example yesterday. Yeah. We had a, uh, a mom of one of our Embassy Suites mm -hmm. graduates who's now working at Embassy Suites. Yeah. She came up on stage with her son, Bruce, and they're just so proud. They're so excited, they're so proud. Um, these young people are getting great jobs. Mm -hmm. Bruce is working full time yeah. and cool. earning a fabulous salary. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, he got a car. <laughs> and so he's, awesome. he's working and contributing back to the mm -hmm. community. And you know, we've had families say, now I can go out and get a job. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's increasing families' income. Mm -hmm. It's increasing money back to their communities where they shop and where they live. Um, so overall, it's a huge win-win for everyone involved. I'd like to address two groups of people who might be watching now, either employers who want to get involved or our viewers who say this program would be great for our family. What should either of those people do? Well, I guess it depends on who they are. Yeah. So for the employers, 
We want them to think about employing people with disabilities. At the very least, they can get on a business advisory council. Mm -hmm. We have over almost 300 programs across the United States, mm -hmm. so there's plenty of opportunities for employers to get involved. They mm -hmm. could host a rotation. They could, um, they could host a student. They could be on a business advisory council, and ultimately, they mm -hmm. could hire somebody with a disability. And that's what you are on, David, that that's advisory right, that's council. Right. And it's a wide group of industries here in Omaha. Mm -hmm. We've got Hy-V on board. We've got mm -hmm. uh, all sorts of people here in La Vista and, and around the place. Yeah. And they just come together once a month. We get an update on the students, and uh, we get buzz as they grow. And, and mm -hmm. the best part is a graduation, and the extra best part is finding out they've got employed. So that's, that's fabulous. Great. This yeah. is such a great story. Yeah. We're glad to have you here today. Thank you for coming to Omaha. Thank and thank you to all of our students who are watching now. Uh, we're excited to share your stories with our viewers. And if you would like to learn more about Project Search and what Embassy Suites La Vista is doing, you see David's contact information on the screen now. It's 408-5463. He'll be glad to talk to you. Thank you. Thank Good you. to see you all. Thank you. And keep an eye out for our next Sarpy County Spotlight. And look for more places to visit at GoSarpy.com.